Just when I think I'm winning When I've broken every door that goes Nice man, welcome back to the shop. I don't know what written on there for. Um, <laughs> today we're talking about valve overlap. Aha! So what is valve overlap and what do we use it for? Uh, four cylinder engine. Uh, four stroke engine, not four cylinder, but it doesn't have to be a four cylinder. Um, so what happens is, is that you have your piston, both valves, uh, no not both valves are closed. One valve is open like this and our piston is on the way up like so. So our scabby exhaust gases we want rid of and the piston basically forces them out. Now, we've got to be very clear about this is that the pressure in here, oh, fucking I don't know, let's just say it's uh, 10 bar. Let's just say it's 10 bar and outside in your exhaust pipe it's close to atmospheric so we'll just say it's 1 bar, right? And the pressure difference between these two means that these have uh, the more force. You've got your pressure in your cylinder versus the pressure in your exhaust. It's fuck all, it loses the fight. So your exhaust gases, as soon as that exhaust valve opens, they start to expel out. Great fun, that's great because it's automatically ex scavenging our cylinder because we don't want exhaust gases, we're done with that shit, it won't combust again, we want to get rid of it. So the piston comes up and it pushes it all out. Uh, let's just move our piston. Our piston comes up to about here. Now obviously we have our clearance volume which is basically what your combustion chamber volume is. And as soon as everything starts to reach equilibrium the pressure near most of the exhaust gases have been evacuated and it's just a bit hotter in here so let's just say it's 1.5 bar. But the velocities of our exhaust gases pissing out have started to go sluggish and slow down. Um, and then what happens is, like idiots, is we close this valve. So now we've got exhaust gases that are still in this, um, our clearance volume. So this is kind of dotted with shitty exhaust gases. And because this is 10 to 1 compression, just say, this is approximately 10% um, of, our, of our sweat volume, of our uh, total volume, sorry, this is, you know, 10% is now exhaust gases. So when we open, when the piston goes back down and we open our intake valve, we've got some exhaust gases in there. This does two things. One, it reduces our uh, volumetric efficiency. The simple fact is 10% is exhaust gases. And it also doesn't help with um, our compression and staying away from pre-ignition and detonation and stuff like that, because these gases are hot. We can't completely evacuate the cylinder, which is a pain in the ass. So when our piston comes down, down to here, and we'll talk about exhaust gas recirculation in a different video, but now we've got 10% exhaust gases and the rest, the 90% is fresh charge. If we had um, an excellent running engine, it's, it's nicely within its breathing cycle, which is what we call a power band. Um, so basically we're already down, we're on a down foot here. So what can we do to alleviate this? Well, what we can do is we can basically just purge, purge the cylinder. That's what we're trying to do. That's what valve overlap is about. So we're back here again and we've got our intake valve closed like this. Our exhaust valve is open. We're doing the same thing. We're pushing all these exhaust gases out, right? Now when we get to here or just before we get to TDC, what we do is we open our exhaust valve. This is our overlap. This is when both valves are open at the same time. So we open our intake valve. And basically what this means is that the net um, velocity in our exhaust is going that way. So the system, in a sense, is perturbed to go that way. Exhaust pulse, uh, intake pulses and stuff in your manifold basically mean that your intake gases want to go this way. So when we open both, we've got exhaust gases in here, fresh charge come in here and basically give it the boot. They push, if I get rid of all these stupid sketches, we've got both valves open, like so, it's not very open is it, let's say, 
like so we've got both of them open and the intake charge comes in and pushes the exhaust gas out this is a purge now you've got to be very careful when you do um, valve overlap because this is brilliant for purging our cylinder and get rid of all the, all the exhaust gases basically um, increased efficiency in scavenging and getting rid of it all but some of this because we've got that variable fucking rpm it's a pain in the ass and because our cams are fixed if we've got fixed cams um you are at certain rpms going to piss fuel out before that exhaust valve closes now they're basically they um for emissions reasons they're not as aggressive with their overlap um so this doesn't happen but with racing applications you have a fucking shed loads of overlap proper purge that cylinder now you might be thinking, yeah, but you're getting rid of some of your fuel air mixture. Well, the system is designed to compensate for this, so basically you go a bit rich. And um, because you can always flood more air in when your injectors fire, that's a metered amount of fuel. But you're meant to purge your cylinder, and now you see your intake valve opens, your piston drops uh, back on its way down to bottom dead centre, like this. And now this is all, hopefully, intake gas, uh, intake charge. So hopefully you'll have 100%, let's just ignore inertial filling and all the rest of it. You've got 100% volumetric efficiency, so you're all good. So basically, like I say, the overlap is the fact that both cams, if you look at a cam duration diagram, both valves are open at the same time. And a watch. So if you look at, um, pen, pen, pen. If you look at our uh, valve duration diagrams, there's so many ways you can do this. TDC, bottom dead centre. That centre, you twat. Um, so basically we have our... Um, oh, where are we? Exhaust stroke, that's it. So our exhaust will open there. And it will close, just say TDC or something like that. And then our intake would open something like this some of these i like the spiral diagrams we'll do one of them in a second but this bit here is our overlap there that's where both are open so this is our exhaust open and that's exhaust closed just for example and this is intake open and intake closed um so you can see there's this overlap there another way you can write this is you can do what i like i like them the spiral diagrams easier to see what's going on so you've got tdc there bottom dead center there and you'll have uh our intake so our intake will open there that'll be our intake stroke so that's uh this is our induction stroke and this is uh, intake open this is intake closed and then that's compression and then that's our power stroke and then that's our exhaust open and then that's our exhaust closed like so i like the spiral diagrams but i think they're easier to track so basically you just go through the whole thing intake induction there it stops there this is compression compression there um intake closed compression power stroke, exhaust opens, exhaust close, and obviously as you can see these cross over. You can just go from TDC to TDC going two ways around. Obviously this is for a four stroke, so this will be our power stroke, this line on the inside, and this will be our exhaust stroke here. We'll do more about spiral diagrams, I kind of like them better than the stupid, just the circular ones. Um, because you're doing inside and outside of circles, I like this because it has like a, 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 a pro, a, a continuous line that's a process you can see but like i say this region here this is our valve overlap this is to help purge that cylinder um there are other things that we need to talk about which is at the other end of um someone brought it up in a comment which is really quite good um which is our exhaust um our intake and our exhaust past bdc at the bottom end we'll talk about that in a future video hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit